This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Kelsey Johnson. Welcome to Sports Monday. The Bahamas Softball Federation's National Round Robin Championships wrapped up yesterday over at the Bankers Playing Field, inking their names into the championship history books as winners in the men's and women's divisions were the Lady Stingers and the Commando Security Truckers. Julian Gibson tells us just how they got the job done. Kelsey, let's start with the ladies' bronze medal game. Spanish Wells got off to a quick start. The T's are our stitches, looking to move on, but no, sir. The Lady Stingers would come storming back to eliminate Spanish Wells. 10 to 4, Spanish Wells taking the bronze medal. I want to give a big thanks to, to my sponsors from Spanish Wells, because without them, we couldn't have got here this year. So we're glad for the people back home that helped sponsor us to get here. Non the men's bronze medal game, Abaco, Bulldogs, Brokel Construction Cougars out of Andrus. The Bulldogs put a blank job on Andrus, 12 to zip. Andrus with the bronze medal. We have made significant strive here. Last year we didn't even place in the tournament. This year we're proud to take home third place. It's something that we can build on. If you notice that we have quite a bit of young athletes that we can only build for the future. And I'm sure we'll be back next year to compete. Now in the gold medal game, New Providence champions, the Lady Stingers, taking on Grand Bahama Wolverines. This one was all Stingers. Stingers winning the championship 10 to 4. It's a great feeling, you know. Uh, we came into the round robin, we came into the championship race. The underdogs, we beat the, we beat the champions. We came in and we, and, and, and we won. We won the national, we won the NPSA. And then we came in to the round robin, we lost the first game. And the girls didn't lose their spirits. We came back and we won two, we won three, we lost. We went down the losers bracket and we came back and win. This is a big success for us. Our first year, we win the championship and we win the round robin. A first year team. Tila Johnson, one of the greatest pitchers. Much respect to her. Now in the men's championship game, the truckers taking on the two-time defending champions. Bulldogs, Bulldogs looking for a three-peat. No, sir. The truckers would win the championship. 4 to 1. Beginning of the round robin, we had to take every game one game at a time, and that's what we did. And I told them that uh, the, the first four games we've been to get to the championship, that was out the doors. So one, shot, one shot kill the crow. You know, we from the old school, we played at 21 game. When one shot, you win the game. So uh, I just tell them stay focused, keep us close, and we'll pull it through. Our team been out a, a year or so. Then we had to come back and regroup ourselves. We put it in the hands of the young, the young guys, so they couldn't do it. So we decided to come back. We made some changes. And we decided to come back and put them in our family and you see how we played. I told everybody, once this team play like that, with the pitching that I have, nobody can beat us. You had the two best pitchers in the Bahamas right there, Lyle and Thomas. And like I told uh, uh, my team, whoever score the next set of runs when the score is 1-1, it's going to win the game. They look at me and say, manager, then we're going to score the runs for you. Most teams and most fans, I think you're supposed to come out here and win every game. Um, our team comes into this totally different every year. You know, we win some, we lose some. In the first round, I don't want to say it's not important, but um, it's more crucial when you get in the elimination round is when you, you can't afford to lose. And we make certain decisions amongst our team, the first part of it, that if we win, if we win, we win. If we lose, we lose. But we know when we get to the, to the playoff round, we know what we have to do to get into the final game. Reporting for ZNS Total Sports, I am Julian Gibson. Only four men's team competed for the national title over the weekend. The Big Tuna Constructionaires, that's the squad out of Eleuthera, decided not to play after one or two of their players were ruled ineligible. As a result of this, many persons are now calling for the rule in the Constitution to be revised. Immediate past president of the Bahamas Softball Federation, Burkitt Dorsett, said it can happen, but it must be done in the correct way. The Bahamas Softball Federation is constitution is crystal, crystal clear, you know. Uh, it said, the original constitution says, if a player wants to play on another island, he must first of all seek the release from the team and the association he's playing for. Then that information is passed on to the association president, who, after consultation with his executive, releases that player. That player then goes to the other association that he wishes to play for, and they, they would inform the association that he's moving from that John Doe wishes to play now in my association. Once that is done, the player is free to play. An amendment was made in 2013, circulated, not made, was brought up to the, to the attention of the 
Federation and it was circulated in 2013 to every member association. It was then debated in 2014, as a year later, as required by the Constitution, passed on June the 26, 2014, whereby the same thing was confirmed. That players just need to get the release from his or her respective association. If, if one wishes to change that, all they need to do is ask the association, the, the federation, for an extraordinary meeting, amend their constitution to whatever they wanted to be amended to, and then go and then have the rule that is in defect, have those rules wiped off the book and replaced by any rule that they want. It's as simple as that. Obstacle course races are becoming very popular in the Bahamas. Over the past three years, more than six races has taken place. These challenge events help to feed the needs of those craving a more creative way to work out. If you're among those persons who want to get it rough, then the Chikcharni Relays is for you. Well, I can't promise there won't, it won't be so muddy conditions, but uh, you're going to have to crawl, you're going to have to jump, you're going to have to climb. Uh, we're introducing a few new obstacles that we didn't have at the Chikchani Challenge, um, like a shimmy uh, and uh, also a sled drag. So there are going to be some, some interesting things that you have to do. Uh, and you, it's only going to be you and your competitor on the course until you pass the baton. And um, it's going to be challenging. We're going to fit everything. Uh, it's about 15 obstacles. So yeah, it'll, it'll all fit on the park. The race will take place on Saturday starting at 9 a.m. at Clifford Park. Well, that's all the time we have for sports. Don't go anywhere. There's more to come. This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center.